we're making a little adapter, we're going to do a quickie thread. Uh, 3 8 by 24 pitch so we could put a, a drill chuck on the end of a, a 5 8 shank and then we can use it throughout our system. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see how it fits. Oh, that's very nice. Now we're good to go. Now that we finished the thread, let's take the time to go over a beginner's course in CNC threading, uh, just like we finished today. Let's start with our program. This is the program we just ran. Right here we picked tool 4 with offset 4. This is your standard heading. Uh, you could look these up. This is your standard heading. We started the spindle at 1200 RPM. Now we could have gone a whole lot faster, but you already saw the smoke coming off. I had to put a touch of oil on it. And as I told you before, if I stink up the house, I'm in a lot of trouble. So we just kept it at 1200. Then we wrap it to the start position. Now uh, I happen to mic that piece uh, and it was uh, 373 thousandths in diameter and we're going to set back about 200 thousandths. Now the reason we set back is so that it has a chance to just in case to catch up and make sure the threads are right every single time. Not that we're too close. So usually a quarter of an inch, 200 thousandths back as a starting place is good. It's not mandatory, but we like to do it that way. This is the actual threading program. You can see my minor diameter is going to be 324 thousandths and my Z I'm going to go down 500 thousandths, about a half an inch. This is the pitch, uh, 0416, and H, this is the depth of my first pass, just my first pass. Then the computer will take over and do the rest. And this C is for clearance, uh, 3 thousandths clearance. And what that means is every time it takes a pass, it's going to come up uh, 3 thousandths uh, less uh, than when I started and back right on up. And you notice all these numbers are minus. They're all minus. Now, after I get done, we're going to turn the spindle off, and then we're going to wrap it to uh, 380, get it out of the way. We're going to back up. We're going to go to 200 thousandths, and then right here, uh, G53, it means we're setting X0 and Z0 home, machine home at the same time, and then we turn it off. Now let's take some time to go over the G76. This is the G code right out of the Mach 3 handbook. Uh, X, uh, that's where we're going to end up. Z, where we're going to end up. A spring passes. This is optional. A spring pass is when you go over the same territory again. Uh, this comes in handy if you're doing uh, big cuts, deep threads, or material that bends real easy. Sometimes you want to make a spring pass or two just to make sure that you don't have any spring uh, in your part where it's bent out of shape. Uh, that's what that's for. Uh, I rarely use it, but you do. Uh, pitch. We're going to go over that in just a minute. That's the uh, pitch of the thread. <clears throat> which would be uh, 1 divided by, uh, say, 24 or 16, uh, 32 pitch, but we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, this is H, the depth of the first pass. Um, I use this sometimes. It's about uh, sometimes 10,000, sometimes 20,000, depending. Uh, plastic, you could take a big shot at first. Uh, steel, not so much. Uh, the end feed angle, usually 29 and a half degrees. Uh, 29 degrees, uh, somewhere in there, uh, like on a, uh, a regular uh, lathe, but uh, CNC, I never worry about this. It turns out uh, just fine. Now, all the rest of this stuff is uh, optional except for clearance, where you have to get out of the way because it's going to come back rapid. 
so make sure at least you're coming uh, three thousandths uh, more than when you started. Uh, depth of the last pass, you don't worry about that, but you could. Uh, taper if you'd like a taper and the minimum depth for each pass. Uh, and if you're going down uh, 30 thousandths, you can go 10 each if you want, something like that. But that's just a brief uh, explanation. And as you experiment, experiment with a piece of plastic so uh, you don't destroy the machine or put it in harm's way. Just to use a piece of plastic to get all this stuff done and you'd be amazed. This is a uh, chart that I have on my computer that uh, <coughs> gives me the uh, major diameter and the minor diameter of threads. And uh, <coughs> this way I can just look it up or we can use the math and we'll get to that in a minute. But here we have uh, 3 8 by 24. Right here we have the major diameter course of uh, 375 thousandths and the minor diameter what we're going down to is 323.9 uh, so I would put 324 uh, I would rather have it uh, a little tighter uh, at first because I could always go over it again but you could use this chart here we have the thread formula uh, that I use I just printed it out here this is this is just the way I showed it so you could do it on your cell phone. You have your major diameter minus 0.61343 times 1 divided by threads per inch times 2 and that's going to give you the minor diameter. Now let's see if we could do this on our cell phone here. I hope you can see all this. <clears throat> okay, we've got our major diameter 0.375 and we're going to minus 0.61343 and that's going to be times 1 divided by 24 which is our threads per inch times 2 which equals 32388 which is actually 3239 uh, and I just said 324 so you could use a formula or you can use a chart but either way this is the minor diameter very important now let's go over pitch <clears throat> right here we have pitch 0.0416 now here's how we got that if you see the cell phone again right here I hope <clears throat> so we have 1 divided by 24 equals 0.04166 blah 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 all the way down. That's the pitch. That's how far it goes, the thread goes in one revolution. Uh, for instance, let's clear this and let's just say it's um, 1 divided by a 20 pitch right here and that equals 50 thousandths. Uh, that's what our V-thread machines are. Every time you, you turn the screw one time, it goes 50 thousandths. So that's what pitch is all about. And once you have that in here, that lets the machine know exactly the thread that's going to be used.